The following is a production of New Mexico State University. For over 50 years, the Denver Botanic Gardens have been among America's leading public parks. Today we're focusing on one special collection. Paniyoti Kalaidis gives us a tour of the Denver Botanic Gardens Rock and Alpine Garden. What's this beautiful blue flower? That's uh, Anchusa capensis is the Latin name. It's uh, the Cape forget-me-not. Cape, that's from South Africa. It's from South Africa, and it's usually uh, considered an annual, but we discovered that it's perfectly hardy, hmm. and we're planting quite a few more of them along here because that blue is so dazzling. Another very famous southwestern plant is this ice plant here. This is one we're calling Table Mountain, and we just released that this year for the first time. Uh, you know cooperite, but mm -hmm. this, this is a little bit uh, softer color. It's not that really harsh purple. Uh -huh. And the foliage on this uh, remains even more attractive in the wintertime. Uh -huh. We think it's a better plant. Very good for, uh, throughout the Southwest. I would say, yeah, throughout the United States, actually. That's performed very well even in the Midwest and the East Coast. Wow. And then this one? The paper flowers or straw flowers are found all over Eurasia, but it, the greatest concentration is in South Africa, where they have about 300 different kinds. Wow. And this is one I collected seed of in South Africa, and it blooms all summer with these funny papery flowers. If you touch them, they kind of rustle. I like those. And they drive very well. They do indeed. What's this? I see this showing up in a lot of different places. The, orig so the oregano, or oregonum, is uh, an ornamental one. This oregano. is not one we use in cooking. This is uh, one from Lebanon, but it's hmm. very ornamental. It looks like hops. Over here, though, it looks like Another kind of oregano. Now this one you can cook with. Uh, this is the true wild marjoram, which oh. is used in herbs. And the bees love it. They do indeed. Well, and there's more to see yet, so let's keep on going and see some other things. Okay. This is the, the common status you see in gardens, C status. There's another one right there. That's the German status, which is a much paler and dwarfer form. This is good for dried arrangements, isn't it? And both cut of, flowers. Both of them, if you cut them, they dry beautifully. Okay, and what's this? It looks just like a petunia, but it's actually uh, in a tropical family, but this is one that's very hardy. It's the hardy petunia. It loves it hot and dry. Well, we've got plenty of that in the Southwest. And the Oringo over here is really spectacular. This is uh, one of the many sea uh, Oringos, and uh, that blue color is just electric, isn't it? Yes, that's really nice. Looks good against the rocks here, which in a rock garden you'd expect. Well, this is a, a, a rock outcrop I'm particularly proud of. And it makes me feel like I'm uh, really bringing a little bit of the Southwest back home. The preceding was a production of New Mexico State University. The views and opinions in this program are those of the author and do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the NMSU Board of Regents.